Hey guys, welcome into the video. I'm here to teach you how to play Voltorb Flip, so let's do it. We're gonna go just north of the Pokemon Center in Goldenrod City, and we're inside the game corner. If you've never done this, you get the coin case from this gentleman right here. But if you have, then go ahead and sit across from him and start playing Voltorb Flip. All right guys, so let's play Voltorb Flip. Here we go. All right, so this is our first board. So priority one is you wanna make sure you get all the times two and times three tiles out of each row, each column, so you can advance to the next level. So if you click one, it's not really super, super helpful in trying to find the Voltorbs, okay? So you want, step one, you wanna identify the rows and columns that have no risk, which means no Voltorbs, like this one right here, like this one right here. So let's go ahead and just unveil these. All right, nice. So we got three twos in total there and it's always going to multiply your score, okay? If you find a three, eight times three is 24, etc. So, second step you wanna do, you wanna find all the rows and columns that equal five. For example, this column right here, four and one. Here's a row right here, three and two equals five. So you don't wanna touch these. You're never gonna gain score by clicking any of these. Okay, so if anything, the risk is higher because you could find a Voltorb, especially with two rows, or two Voltorbs in this row, excuse me. So, let's click this right here, and we can mark it by clicking this symbol right here, okay? It's gonna say Memo if you're playing, like, the actual, uh, Heart Gold game. We're playing Poke MMO here. So, just click this right here, so that you identify that you do not want to click on these tiles here, alright? So, we have some interesting um, steps we can take from here. Five and one, six and one. So six and one means you have the highest score here, but it means you have three uh, numbers revealed here with one Voltorb. It means one of these is going to be uh, a two. Um, but because you have two Voltorbs in each of these rows, this is actually really risky, and actually kind of difficult level one uh, board that we have here. So we're gonna take our best shot at it um, over here, actually, and on this row, okay? Um, so I think we're gonna just pick this one right here. All right, beautiful. All right, so it worked out for us. So from here, we can eliminate, oh no, we don't wanna mark that one. We wanna mark this one. Um, also, because we unveiled a 2 and a 1 here already, and there's two Voltorbs, it means there's two Voltorbs left in this column and only one score. So let's go ahead and just mark these as well, okay? So because we have 4 and 2, we have 2 points, 2 Voltorb left here, which means we took care of whatever score could possibly be here, right? So let's go ahead and just mark these as well. And we're down to these two tiles right here. So we've unveiled two and one here and this one's pretty risky right here okay so what we want to do is determine do we want to click this tile right here and the answer is no because what we have yet to unveil in this column is two score okay and one voltorb which means each of these is either one or voltorb so we click that which means that R2 is right here. All right, let's 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 do another level. Let's do another level, guys. Ooh, so this is an interesting one right here. So right away, once again, you just unveil the ones that don't have Voltorbs in the rows or columns. So let's go ahead and take care of that, okay? Second, you identify any rows or columns that equal five, okay? So three and two, there's a three and two here, there's a four and one here, there's a four and one here, there's a three and two here. So we're actually getting a lot of help here. So let's go ahead and take the time. Okay, so all the tiles that aren't productive to unveil are now marked, okay? So now we have a 7-2 here. It's a little bit more dangerous here. So 8-1, and one, that's a very good number for us. Very, very good. We've got 7-2 and two column here, 7-2 and two column here. We're going to see where the 8s intersect here. And we've got a 3. Beautiful. All right. It's a good... Now... This is where, you know, it gets a little bit difficult, right? 
it looks like we have equal risk here because we're intersecting with a 7-2 and a 7-2. So it's possible that one of these three does contain a Voltorb, and this is where luck comes in, okay? Um, no matter what, even if you put this into a VoltorbFlip.com that uh, kind of calculates probability for you, there's still the chance, of course, that you're going to be able to flip over a Voltorb. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this one right here. All right, we have a three here as well. So let's try, I mean, at this point, it's more risky. So let's just go for it. All right, so we have three there. And if this one is three, we got it. And if you don't want to do all the mathematics and leg work, all you have to do is go to voltorbflip.com and then you just input the point in the Voltorb totals here. I have an example one that's already filled out here and we'll go ahead and click solved. And this is going to be uh, the best case scenario for what you can click they can identify immediately where the Voltorbs are um, well sometimes um, like example this right here it could be one two or three but for a fact it is not a Voltorb um, so ultimately Voltorb flip is a game of chance so this game yeah it even says right here please note Voltorb flip is ultimately a game of chance so it's not going to be perfect guys but VoltorbFlip.com will help you out a lot if you don't want to go through the lake work of figuring it out yourself but that's all there is to cover for Voltorb flip let me know guys what you want to see on the channel let me know uh if you got value out of this please give it a like subscribe to the channel for more and guys i'll see you on the next one